Hello guys and welcome back to CE Box Tutorial Channel and this is our problem number 6 under chapter 3, Inequalities. So, ang ating problem number 6 is x plus 3 over 2 is greater than or equivalent to 2 over 3. Actually, dito pwede na tayo mag-apply ng cross multiplication, di ba? Pero yung may, naka may nakausap akong estudyante, uh, last time na sabi raw niya kapag inequalities daw, hindi raw ata pwedeng mag-cross multiply. I don't know kung totoo yun, pero alam ko pwede kasi ano lang yun eh, parang multiplication and division property lang siya. So paano nga ba yun? Actually yung cross multiplication kasi is other term lang naman or parang ano, uh, mas madaling term na ginagamit para hindi nalito yung mga bata. Pero... Under lang yung sa multiplication and division ano uh, property. So, ang sabi kasi ng mga teacher natin nung high school, paano? Go cross multiply tayo. Ito, i-multiply natin dito. Then itong 3, i-multiply natin pataas. Okay. Yan siya. So, ano mangyayari? So, 3 multiplied by uh, x plus 3. Then, greater than or equivalent to 2 multiplied by 2. Okay. Pero, sa so totoo, ang nangyari niyan is ganito. Ito talaga ito itong nangyari dyan. Okay? And siya. So dito, una, minutify natin ng uh, 2 yung uh, both sides. Kaya, ang mangyari, didistribute natin papunta rito. Okay? Kaya magka-cancel out yung 2 dito, ang matitira is x plus 3. Okay? And then, dito naman is uh, 2 multiplied by 2 over 3. Ayan. Tapos, kasunod na gagawin natin is, i-multiply naman natin yung both side ng 3. So, distribute ulit. Dito, and then, dito. So, mangyayari, 3x plus 3 is greater than or equivalent to, cancel out ang, ano, ano, ang 3. So, mangyayari dito is 2 multiplied by 2. Na kung saan, magka-come up lang din tayo sa same solution dito. Okay, so that is multiplication and division property ng ating inequality or sa equality. Okay, so yung cross multiplication na to is applicable pa rin kapag inequality. Okay, anyway, uh, hindi talaga, actually yung cross multiplication is hindi talaga siya mathematical term. Okay, mas pinadali lang siya na term para mas maintindihan ninyo. Actually ito, yung ginagawa natin na to, uh, yung iba ang ginagawa is transposition or transpose. Okay, yung ibang mga teachers sa high school, ang sinasabi nila dito is transpose. Ayan, kuwari ito, yung negative 2, ito transpose mo rito. Tapos, mapapaltan yung, ano, yung sign. Ayan, oh, naging positive 2. Okay, then ito, yung, uh, yung 6 from positive, ito transpose natin dito, magiging uh, negative 6. Ayan siya, naging negative 6 siya. Okay, so transposition. Pero wala talagang mathematical term na transpose. Pero yun lang ang ginagamit ng mga teacher para mas mabilis maunawaan ng mga student yung ano yung uh, solution sa math. Okay? Kaya ang ginagawa ko nga dito is ano, yung mga term natin is tinatama natin. Like addition and subtraction property, multiplication and division property, mga ganun. Okay? Anyway, napahaba na yung kwento natin. <laughs> Solve natin problem natin. So, uh, distribute natin or expand natin. So, 3x plus 9 greater than or equivalent to 4. And then, uh, mag-minus tayo, both sides, sa both sides ng negative 9. So, ang sagot dito is 3x. Then, dito is negative 5. Then, saka natin i-divide ng 3. Positive 3, ah. Then, so, ang sagot dito is greater than or equivalent to negative over 3. Hindi naman natin kailangang i-change yung sign. Why? Kasi hindi naman natin dinivide yung both side ng negative value. Ang, na, ang pinang-divide natin is ano? Positive 3. Okay? So, negative 5 over 3. Anong value ng 5 over 3? That is 1.666. So, nasa yun? Negative 1.666. Nandito. Oops. Yan. Andiyan siya. Okay? So, try natin. 
So, x plus 3 over 2. And then, uh, greater than, or equal muna tayo. Sige, equal, uh, equals to negative 5 over 3. Okay, so 2 over 3. So, okay tayo dyan. Nag-satisfy tayo sa equation. Try natin mas malaki sa, one, uh, sa negative 1.666. So, try natin ano, 0. Kasi mas malaki yung sana, di ba? Negative 1.666. So, try natin. Okay, so 3 over 2 is 1.5. Okay, so ilan ba ang 2? 2 over 3. Kapal. Kalimutan natin. So 2 over 3 is 0.666. Okay. And 1.5 is greater than sa 0.666. Try natin naman is positive 1. Okay, so 2. Mas marami pa rin sa 0.666. So ibig sabihin, yung interval natin is negative 5 over 3. Then, positive infinity. Tapos, Meron siyang equal sign. So, ibig sabihin, included yung ating negative 5 over 3. Then, positive infinity. Ayan. So, i-plot natin. Included siya, no? So, ibig sabihin, solid line ang, uh, solid, ano pala? Sorry. Solid circle ang kailangan natin gamitin. Then, positive infinity. Ayan. Okay, ito siya. Napaka-simple lang yan. Okay, actually, mas simple pa to kaysa sa ating uh, problem number 5. Okay? Uh, pero, syempre, yung ipa kasi mga estudyante, kapag may mga gantong fraction na, medyo nalilito na sila, di ba? Natakot na sila. Pero, without realizing na, hindi nila pala, kailangan nyo lang gumitan ng, ano, simple property ng inequality or equality para masolve yung ating uh, variable dun sa inequality na. Okay, so that is our problem number 6 and don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon for the notifications and updates on our channels. Okay, so thank you for watching. Bye!